नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू दिस शो वी ऑल आर फेमिलियर विद दिस टर्म कॉल्ड पी एफ डी एंड पी एन आई डी दोज हु आर वर्किंग और इवन दोज हु आर बिगिनर्स इन प्रोसेस इंडस्ट्री दे आर फेमिलियर विद दिस टर्म्स सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड ट्राई वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड what is the significance of these documents and what are the distinguishing points between these two documents so uh, today's session is a very important session if you are a process uh, engineer or if even if you are not a process engineer you are from any discipline and related to uh, engineering uh, consultancy or maybe construction so this session is very very important for you so request you to watch this entire session till the end and don't forget to share this session and like and also request you to put your valuable comments in the comment section so that we can uh, correct if there is some clarification from you so let's uh, move and see uh, what is pfd and pnid pfd basically is called as a process flow diagram whereas the term pnid stands for process and instrumentation diagram so a uh, process flow diagram is Uh, basically we can say a course pnid or it shows interconnection between different equipments in sequence how these equipments are connected to form the entire process that means how the equipments are interconnected with each other so that a process as a whole is formed so this information is available in process flow diagram so in process flow diagram you will uh, get the information like uh, total number of equipments what is the sequence from which equipment the process starts and at which equipment the process ends uh, tag number of each equipment all this valuable information interconnecting information is available in process flow diagram uh, moving ahead uh, id that is the process and instrumentation diagram is one step ahead of pfd in other words we can say that p and id is a detailed pfd so in p and id we have equipments uh, as uh, interconnecting equipments so that we get a broad overview of the entire project we will uh, we understand how the project uh, is formed by connecting a sequence of equipments in addition to that uh, this information was also available in pfd however in pnid we have additional information that is piping and associated instruments which are connected to these equipments and also interconnecting pipes and instruments which are connecting these uh, equipments okay so this information is available in uh, pnid so here we can see that uh, how this pnid is being Uh, um, uh, form uh, here we can see that there is one absorption tower and whichever equipments that are connected to this absorption tower are connected by means of pipe so in this diagram from this diagram we can get the size of pipes the material of pipes their rating and many more information uh, this information we can extract from p and id so now let's move ahead to see uh, the points between the pfd and pnid okay so pfd as we have seen uh, in earlier uh, uh, slides 
that uh, it is an interconnecting diagram explaining the connection between various equipments that constitutes the entire process. Whereas this PNID is interconnecting diagram, the same in PFD, but it is a detailed which is having additional information of the associated piping and instruments. Uh, second most important point for the PFD's uh, major equipment symbols, their names, identification number, which are called as tag numbers, those are available in the PFD. Uh, then a major bypass and recirculation lines, uh, which are part of that process, uh, those are shown in PFD, okay. And we later on in PNID, we do a detailed engineering uh, of these uh, systems. Uh, then next is the system ratings and operational values as minimum, normal, maximum flow, temperature and pressure. These are available in the PFD. Uh, and the last important point is the composition of the fluid. Composition of the fluid means if it is a crude oil, then what are the different constituents of that uh, of fluid? Then uh, next is if it is a gas, maybe methane or whatever. So all this is available in the PFD. Coming to PNID, we get all the physical uh, 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 physical I would say MTO or physical BOQ from PNID except length of pipe and number of elbows. This cannot be, uh, this is not readily available from PNID. Other than this, all the information uh, associated with piping instrumentation is available from PNID. So, um, uh, mechanical, uh, okay, so moving ahead, instrumentation and designation. So, each instrumentation uh, it's uh, legend what instruments are applicable for that given project. All these uh, are available in PNID. Then total number of walls with their sizes, their specification, material specification, rating, all these are available in PNID. Uh, process piping sizes and identification, of course, that we have seen. Then the next point is miscellaneous vents, drains, special fittings, special fittings like bar T in case of pig launcher receiver system, okay, um, or else uh, then uh, your uh, um, flexible hoses, uh, then steam traps, all this is available, uh, MTO, which we can take from PNID, sampling lines, reducers, etc. Okay. Uh, permanent startup and flushing lines, these systems are also there marked on the PNIDs. Flow direction of pipes, from which in the pipe uh, flow will start from the pipe from point A to point B. This is clearly marked in PNID. So all this information is collected in different documents like for example, total number of lines uh, which are there for a given project are taken from PNID and a document called line list is prepared. In that line list, we have pressure, temperature of each of the lines and various other parameters like whether it has insulation, tracing. This important information is extracted from PNID. So, um, this is a short overview of the major difference between these two uh, documents, very important documents, PFD and PNID. The owner of these two documents is process, whereas the consumer or the consumers or the engineering uh, team uh, who are who require the information from these uh, documents are all the disciplines, all disciplines, um, piping, mechanical, structural, civil, instrumentation, electrical. So for all these disciplines, the PFD and PNID are very crucial. So uh, coming back, uh, if you have uh, any questions in relation to this session, uh, you can type your questions uh, in the comment section and uh, visit, I uh, request you to visit. Uh, here is our website and our uh, contact.
contact number you can connect it connect us through whatsapp and uh, if you require a corporate detail training in this uh, topic on this topic then we are open for that you can contact us or if uh, you require uh, introductory or some detailed training we request you to keep watching our videos and also share this important information with your friends and colleagues thanks for your time watching this video thank you